Land's sake, Sadie, do you never sleep? I heard him playing his violin. Who? David. David who? Who else? My fiance. Are you feeling all right? Aunt Deborah, I know he died recently. I'm not crazy. But I heard his violin and his voice. His voice? At the funeral. I could hear him ever so faintly through the rain. He sounded so sad.
better get ready for work. What you still in morning? I need something to distract me. Oh, Robert, what should I tell Sadie? Tell her death is not the end. A seance? That's a wonderful idea. You never could listen to me. If we could help David deliver his message, whatever it may be, perhaps he could rest in peace. I could talk to him for you. I see him down at the graveyard. But how to deliver that message? I need to call Dr. Kristoff, that spiritual medium, before he leaves town, so Sadie can move on with her life. It frightens me the way she talks about her dead love. Sadie will be fine. I've been protecting her all these years. Especially with you gone, who will protect her. <laughs> Although how I've endured these conversations, I cannot say. Though I can't blame her. I never could let go of you. You better not. Oh, talking to Uncle Robert again. Why not? He seldom leaves the house. Is that Isaac off in the distance? Oh, he's Dr. Isaac now. He must be coming to check on me. You're looking a little tall, hunch over. Men prefer short women. Stick out your gut. We don't want him thinking you're malnourished. You look sad. You're stealing mourning. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, neighbor. Sadie. Oh, I can't stay long. I just came to. Chat with Sadie. How nice. So, what was that, Robert? Who's Robert? My great uncle. The one who died in that accident years ago? Going for the rebound. I never liked this guy. Robert says he likes you. <laughs> Oh, really, what's Robert? going on? Sometimes he forgets his manners, which reminds me, we'll be attending the All Hells Eve social tonight. Oh, Deborah, you know I have two left feet. And Sadie has two right. Goodbye, Aunt Deborah. Are you coming back to work already? There's something I need to show you. Don't jinx yourself. No one should be alone tonight with all the spooks on the loose. You know Robert died this very night. I remember. What time should Sadie expect you? Um, what? I don't care if you are, Doctor. Rebound this. Oh, dear. It, it's nothing I must have tripped. We'll chat later, I promise. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Serves him right. What? What do you mean? What? You think they're meant for each other. <laughs> that guy's got nothing on David. It was clear ever since they were children. That is until David showed. Now about that seance. I'm sorry about Aunt Deborah. She's not exactly. It's your Uncle Robert I'm worried about. <laughs> he can be less than friendly. Sadie, you know I think highly of you and your family, but such talk is... Don't you believe in souls? Uh, we mustn't confuse wishful thinking with reality. Then what in reality knocked you out of that chair? I can't say. You won't say. Whatever it was, I'm sure there's a rational explanation. And if there's not? There must be. But supposing there's not? Well, I, how did we end up in the cemetery? I suppose you wouldn't believe me if I told you that David has visited me. He's visited you? I brought you here because I need a second pair of eyes. Will you search David's gravestone for me? Search? For signs of coming and going. Sadie. I'm begging you. Well, the dirt is fresh, but the funeral was recent. There's a hole back here. Jumping, Jim and Eddie, I can still see the coffin. I didn't dream it. Oh, we got ourselves as a lazy grave digger. We should complain to the sext. David is really out there. There's no proof of that except that shoe. That's David's. Oh, let's not jump to conclusions. We've got to help him. This could be anybody's shoe. The laces aren't triple knots. Who else does that? So one of his shoes fell out of the casket during the funeral. Don't you think that's unlikely? It's certainly more likely than him rising from the dead. 
Maybe he was buried alive and none of us knew we have to find him. Was David in the habit of writing property of George Willard on his shoes? All right, I'm overreacting. No, you're just suffering from the loss of your love. That's completely understandable. I, I don't know what's happening to me. Isaac, you and I have been good friends for a long time. You mean a lot to me. That's why I need to ask you to keep your distance. A what? Everyone around me ends up dead. First my parents, then Uncle Robert, and then David. I think I'm cursed. If I were you, I'd run far away. But none of those deaths were your fault. Why did the fever take my parents but not me? I begged Uncle Robert to hang the Halloween lanterns. I was right there when he fell off the roof. David was walking right by me when he showed the first signs of cholera. Correlation, not causation. I must have done something wrong. You've done nothing wrong. Everything seems so bleak. How long until we're all gone? Say. Falling, tripping, hit your head and die. Always someone else in the paper, lying in a hospital bed. Then the reaper comes while you're dreaming, and you wake up dead. And this wild, deadly plague's keep a spread, assuming you're still alive. Every passing hour, you'll be dreading the fight just to survive. You're looking at it wrong, beg your pardon What's with all the fear and alarm? I'll help your weary heart to unharden Keep you safe within my arms All your happy talk is assuming Death's gonna spare you too I can feel the shadows looming It's too good to be true Every passing hour I'm learning Though we're trying to make it last no matter how our hearts keep a yearning, the best days are already past. Please try to see, there's hope ahead and if you'll let me be, I promise you I will unlock these shackles and help you live again.
you're moaning so loud I can hardly hear myself moan. Well, I've been moaning in this here spot for over 100 years. Well, just because you die before I did doesn't mean you own the whole graveyard. Now, if you'll kindly lower your volume, I'm going to go moan over. <gasps> the gravy, I'm <laughs> That's just my great, 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 great granddaughter Sadie. Hi, ma'am, Mr. Great. But Spooker. Spook my old kid? It never stopped you before. <laughs> True. <laughs> Ghostly powers? On three. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I think we might be a might be rusty on those ghostly powers. Drat, she looks so spookable. Well, tonight is All Hallows' Eve when they say the veil is the thinnest. If you yell loud enough, she just might hear you. Hello, Mortal! Louder from the diaphragm. Hello, Mortal! Oh, Jardis, now what? I'll take it from here. <clears throat> we are the ghosts of the, the, the bloody finger. Bloody finger! Bring us your firstborn child and some pie, and some pie. apple. Oh no, cherry! Apple and cherry and chocolate mousse and some. What is the point of all that? It's not like we can eat any of it. But I wanted some pie. Plus, it's entertaining. Oh, look there, now we scared her off. I thought that was the point. I know, but what are we gonna do now? Well, don't look at me. I suppose we can always moan. Well, not again. Oh, you're right, I'm tired of moaning. That just makes me want to moan all the more. Spare me. Well, I would if I wasn't so good at it. <laughs> Would you prefer a more classical moan? A soliloquy on the futility of life and the bondage of time. <laughs> or perhaps something with a more modern edge to it, a scathing rebuke of materialism. <laughs> enjoyed your silent agony. <laughs> when All Hallows' Eve is upon us, our one special night of the year, this is when spirits should unite in their misery and wail. This calls for a group moan. Good heavens, where is everybody? Group moan! Oh, group moan! No, please. Come on! Return to wildlife once 
again. Our spirits are broken. Our bodies are dust. The cruel separation was harsh and unjust. Hope is unheard of and dreams do no good. We go to the light if we only Flesh, but we do have spirit. Do something. We're dead. We can't do anything. Oh. <gasps> we don't all have the gift. I struggle to make the leaves rustle. When we were alive, our spirits commanded and our bodies obeyed. Now that we're dead, there's nothing between us and the elements. <laughs> if anything, our powers should be stronger. In over 100 years, I haven't learned anything. Besides, I don't want to move rocks. I want to move on. I want to leave this accursed place. Then why don't you? Because our souls are chained. We're here because we want to be here. Who in their right mind would want to be here? If you want to leave, leave. We're spirits, we can go anywhere in no time at all. I am not without my wholesome pursuits. I have made it a point to keep a parental eye on my progeny. Why, just last week, maybe it was last month, well, sometime in the last decade, I went to visit my great, great, great granddaughter, Deborah. Well, I may have missed a great. To let her know I was there, I made the floorboards creak, I slammed the door a few times, and I knocked off the spaghetti. <laughs> Come to think of it, I may have scared her. <laughs> Surely we're meant to do more than scare the living. Have you ever been to Paris? There's no one there for me to haunt. These are my people. Most of your people have moved on. And I long to join them when I'm ready. How many more centuries will that take? Not many. One or two. What are you afraid of? For one, no one who's ever passed on to the great beyond has ever returned. And what if I meet God and he casts me out? But what if there is no God or nothing but in this darkness? <laughs> if anyone's out there, they should come to us. Cat, in a hundred years, has anyone come to us? Well, Eve, if you're so sure about this, then why haven't you moved on? I have work to do. If I'm not mistaken, you've been around since the 18th century. What could possibly be so important? You wouldn't understand. Pat, you'll be happy to know I was just at your great, great, great granddaughter's house. I may have missed a great deal. I have many. Deborah, I believe. That's right, she's married to that good-for-nothing Robert. That man has no ambition. <laughs> but how is my dear sweet Sadie? The one we were just spooking. Shut up! <laughs> I didn't actually see any of them. I was just about to knock on the door when my body started falling apart. Body? 
What he means is it feels like he falls apart every time he visits his former life. Oh, I understand that. I feel his pain. Oh, yes. oh, excuse me. But I have something I need to discuss with David. Could you two kindly moan elsewhere? I have been moaning in this here spot for over 100 ah! You need to watch what you say. It felt so good to be alive again. Wind in the hair, air in the lungs, cold on the skin. I can't let the others know what we've been up to. They'll want to go back too. Well, what's wrong with that? Their bodies are beyond repair. Even yours is barely salvageable. You're telling me. I barely made it back to the graveyard before I started falling apart. Why does it always stop working at sunrise? Spiritual energy dissipates in the daylight. It's one of the many mysteries I've yet to resolve. And the worst part is, I lost my shoe. That was a gift for my buddy George. Great, now the living will know what we've been up to. Isn't that the point? Not until we've perfected the experiment. Speaking of which, is there any way you could send me back tonight? Tonight? It's the All Hallows Eve dance, and I was hoping... You want to get to Sadie before Dr. Isaac does. And it would be great if you could keep my body together this time. I have been trying to unlock the secrets of life for over a century. And you expect me <laughs> to perfect it all by tonight? <laughs> if you could, please. Oh, I'll, I'll do my best. That's all I ask. But you must promise me one thing. Anything. Don't kiss her. Why not? Because you'll taste like death. <laughs> right. Well, I guess I better get the old body ready. Polish the remaining shoe, comb the hair, dust off the bugs. You're the greatest, Eve. We're restless immortals awaiting our fates. Must be Deborah. You look even younger than yourself and over the phone. You devil. Forgive me. I only have a few minutes before I must catch my train. Tell me more about your niece. She's so haunted. She can't sleep at night. If you could stay one more day, we could make it worth your while. Oh, I'm afraid that's out of the question. I'm needed at a severe case up north. At the Capitol building of all places. Apparently, an entire regiment of dead Confederates have made their abode there. <laughs> Scandalizing those Republicans. But if you could share her address, perhaps I could visit when I pass through town again. Are there any other mediums around here? Well, there's plenty of hobbies. But if you're looking for a professional, I don't mean to brag, but I'm the only one. Please, Doctor, it really can't wait. Every time I see you standing on the porch, staring off into the forest. Hold on. Is this the woman that was engaged to a fiddler? You know her. What a profound coincidence. I believe I saw her when I first came to town. As you say, she was on her porch, and I couldn't help but overhear her talking about her David and his violin. I could never forget those haunted eyes. If there's any way. You know it's not safe for her to be out like that at night. I have tried to tell her. Especially if she's seen apparitions of a fiddler. You, of course, know the legend of old Daniel. The phantom fiddler? I never thought. Luring his victims into the forest? Oh, the story's true. Oh, I can't say. But what I can say... If the governor can wait. This is truly a special case. Thank you, Doctor. How much will the seance cost? Oh, I wouldn't dream of profiting from that poor woman's tragedy. <coughs> Speak of the devil, here she comes. Sadie, I would like you to meet Dr. Kristoff. He's going to help you contact David. Ma'am. Do I get a say in this? People are beginning to talk. Let them talk. If David wants to contact me, he'll do it in his own time and in his own way. I think it's high time we put this issue to rest. Don't you agree, Dr. Isaac? Uh, if you'll excuse us, our patient needs to be getting to the hospital. 
Another victim of the consumption, is it? Late stages and so many lack of... May I have a look? Uh, with all due respect, her well-being is a matter of medicine. Well, as your partner so aptly put it, shouldn't the young lady have a say in the matter? Are you playing with my patient? Well, if you think that's a trick, then I have a question for you. What good is all your medicine if it doesn't heal? What are your credentials? Well, I hold no degrees in the physical sciences, and I doubt you care for the spiritual. Well, since you asked, I'm well versed in theology, divinity, cosmology, eschatology, psychophysicality, and paranormal phenomenon. You. Isaac just got out of medical school. Shame they don't teach about spirits anymore. I'll be the first to admit my ignorance on many subjects. But I know one thing. If Sadie doesn't want your help, you have no right to interfere. I never work without the consent of my patients. What do you take me for? I don't know what to make of you. Please, Isaac. He's only trying to help. If my services are unwelcome, I can't test the next train. No, please. Call it Mumbo Jumbo if you wish. The sooner we can help Sadie, the sooner you and her can move on. I sense you have a special interest in this woman. Can't we help her together? Hey, Sadie, remember when I died? Well, the funny thing about that is, no, too casual. Fear not, Sadie, tis I, David, back from the grave. No, too presumptuous. Hey, Sadie, I'm back! No, too creepy. Pig's blood. What? I took another trip to the library. The poor old woman there believes the place is haunted, and oh, of course she's right. <laughs> when I stumbled upon this book, The Ancient Medicine of Clavis, and I quote, blood is the life force of man. An infirm man may prolong his life by drinking the undefiled blood of a man or beast. We need to rejuvenate your body with something substantial, not just ghostly energy. The town butcher keeps jars of pig's blood in his backyard. When the sun sets, go there, drink, <coughs> and live. You really think it'll be that simple? I will be with you every step of the way. How can I ever repay you? You've given me a reason to hope that all my research might not have been in vain. Before you came along, I was just like the others, moaning miles and miles away. Hmm. You showed me the missing ingredient to my experiments. And that is? Will. Your will is so strong, I believe you'll make it. If Sadie doesn't want me, then I'll lose my will. You're her fiance. I was her fiance. You told me you met her at this very dance. What could be more romantic than meeting her again, waltzing in the moonlight? We didn't actually dance last time. Somehow I managed to keep her occupied at the refreshments table. But you do dance. No. Oh dear. <laughs> Who are we kidding? I'll be a walking corpse. Just until you heal. I will offer her my hand. And then my hand will fall off. It will be a disaster. Not if you know the right moves. Moves? In my day, dancers hardly touched each other. 
It begins with a regal bow. Good, like that. And then the gentleman ever so delicately takes the lady's hair. All right, forward, two, three, out of book, back, two, three, forward, two, three, back, two, three, good, like that. And then? And then you progress to small talk. Some witticism about how lovely she looks. Your face shines like the silver lining of a moon. Wonderful. And then? I don't know. <laughs> Why can't I just court you instead? Wrong! 3,469! <laughs> wrong! 205! Wrong! 11! Wrong! And that was your last guess. It was 7 million and 2. Hey, David, you want to play this time? I got a really good number. I'm afraid I have work to do. <laughs> hey, E, did you hear the news? There's a new rival. Oh, who died? Another victim of the consumption. Rumor has it she's wandering around like a lost soul. Has no one welcomed her? I thought that was your job. <clears throat> there she is. Hello. Am I dead? Congratulations! Where am I? Your eternal doom! It is a rest in place. May I show you around? What's the purpose of being here? To think about everything you've ever done wrong and regret it day after day, year after year! Is this hell? Yes! Let me introduce you to some happier spirits. Thank you. But I think I need some time alone. All right, well, if you need anything, I'm not going anywhere. 50,012. Wrong. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's beneath the sheet? Nothing. <gasps> Why do I get the feeling you two are up to something? Come to think of it, I heard a rumor about some grave digging around here, and it bore the marks of spiritual influence. Oh, cool. grave digging. You wouldn't know anything about that, now would you, Eve? Has anybody seen an, <gasps> an eyeball? <laughs> Damn it! What are you doing with the body? Mm -hmm. A body with eyeballs, no less! Good heavens! It's not the new girls, is it? No, no, of no, course no, 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 not. <laughs> but no one else has died recently. But you. <laughs> If I didn't know any better, I'd suspect the two of you of trying to pull a Daniel Baines! A what? You've never heard of old Daniel? The Phantom Fiddler? It's a cautionary tale for wandering spirits and foolish mortals like... Uh, we really don't have time. Story time, story time, story time. You, you gotta hear it, you gotta hear it.
At last he found his murderer's bed Lying peacefully underneath a flowered wreath The man was already dead! That's just an old folk tale. David can't really go back, can he? Eve, I, I know you've been studying something for all these centuries and it reeks of the unsupernatural. If you don't out with it, you'll force me to move. Oh, please, oh, damn. All right, all right, all right. I've been helping David go back. It's my fault. I begged her and to. can you blame me? In all my years, I've never seen a more broken-hearted spirit. Shame on both of you for meddling powers beyond any of us. Can you send me back to Jesse? <laughs> if you promise to keep quiet, I'll see what I can do. Pat. Not for you. Not for David. But for the sake of my great Great, 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 great granddaughter Sadie. Oh, many of Mr. Great. Your secret is safe with me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a family reunion to attend. Funny, so do I. Goodbye. <laughs> so much for secrecy. Let everyone know that love will conquer death. They may have a point. With so much at risk, is it really worth it? You don't think it would corrupt me, do you? Old Daniel is fiction. Right. His real name was Andrew. What? Four hundred years ago, our tales and scenes were simply by the blood of fiery men still training as I cry out to my fallen friend, this is in power to make you end. Through the darkness and the night, something told me to make it right. Could there be a way around this gateway of destruction? Searching through a thousand books, I gathered my destruction. Alive? Heard the legend of a man whose shadow carries 
right. Feel the powers of the night shirking from the light. Could it be I've made a monster neither life nor death? But I could reclaim his soul, I'd give my own instead. How could he take your last? The one I love was pure not grim, that he took my game to him. Stories simply can't be true, why I left a gift to you. No, I fear I'll lose you too, I do it for the one I knew. But how is strong their ready box, the can we violate nature's laws? Is it really worth an ox to leave us all? Could be lost. How could you endure so many years of this? You haven't yet learned how time can mean nothing at all, especially when your mind is in a rut. Here on the other side, I could see what Andrew did, the power, the possibilities. I had to continue our work in the hopes that others, perhaps you and Sadie, would have happier faith. You risked everything to save the one you loved. You know I must do the same. Must you? What if, what if you and I had been looking too high and too low when happiness was right in front of us? What are you talking about? What if we would have just forget it all and move on? You and I? Together. When we're so close to our dream? You're right, I'm sorry. What if you came with me? You know it's too late for me. Well, as you said, where there is a will, there is a way.
this all day. But no sense in stalling, for duty is calling. We'll find the way. Why must you stay? I do, parting from you, there's a new life waiting for you, far from this cave, how could I forget when I'm deep in your debt for my life, you say. I don't want your help. But I can help you find peace. Both of you. Why won't you give the doctor a chance? I have a bad feeling about this. Then I'll go. Supposing I were to say yes, how would it work? Simple. We go to David's grave, I call for David, and if he's there, he'll talk to you. What fun, I'll go get my jacket. Oh, I'm afraid it will just be Sadie and I. Communion with spirits requires absolute concentration, and as such, we must limit attendance. Which reminds me, I just need you to sign here, authorizing me to guide you to the spiritual frontier. My attorney makes me do it. What's in the fine print? Nothing of any interest. You're welcome to read it. He has nothing to gain, and you have nothing to lose. <laughs> Robert. What the devil? It seems I need to talk it over with my uncle first. Time is of the essence. Good day, Dr. Christoph. Damn! Ah, oh, Dr. Isaac, you're looking sharp tonight. Any luck with Sadie? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make her drink. So what do we do now? Well, since I have another night here in town, I might as well look for some pretty dames for the social tonight. Heaven knows my line of work is lonely. I've been thinking about what you did earlier with my patient and about something I've experienced here at this very house. A ghostly presence? Yes, how did you? Never mind, of course, you know. And that's just it. I surely came across as closed-minded today, for which I apologize. There's just so much that we, or, or at least I, don't understand that to deny it simply because it doesn't fit into my world view is not only unscientific, but dishonest. Having heard that, there's something I wish to confide in you as well. All I ask is that you retain that open mind. I'm listening. I fear there may be go more going on with Sadie than meets the eye. That there may be evil forces at work. If it comes to it, I want to know whether or not I can count on you, as a friend, to assist me. You know I have my doubts, but yes. If it helps Sadie, I'll do what I can. I knew I could count on you. Let's just hope my premonitions are wrong. Good evening. Good evening. Nah. Robert! Did he come to take you to the dance? You know, the wind can cause doors to open and shut. Sure. I don't have all the answers, Isaac, but to deny what we've experienced would be... Dishonest? Yes! How are you feeling? I've got to get out of that house! Uh, in that case, I've been thinking about what your aunt said. I would love to go to the social with you. I know this is a big step for you. No, I think laughing and dancing is just what I need. I remember that smile. I haven't seen it since. Since... David showed up a year ago. Let me get my dress suit. 
just a few minutes. Get this over with. You could at least try to be grateful. I'm not exactly getting anything out of it. What did I say? Maybe it's what you haven't said. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Just lie down. If this works, I guess this is goodbye. So it is. Don't forget those straight to the butcher shop. You need that blood. Anything else? No, you? I can't think of anything. Thank you. still see you. How is you could hear me? I'll be all right from here. You can go home now. No, I can't. Thanks, Eve. I love you, you know. does nothing. I know, I saw, I'm working on a solution. I, I don't know why I'm shouting you can't hear me in that body. 
My right arm is coming loose and I can barely walk. I don't think my heart is beating. This is too hard. Chop raising the dead sometime. <laughs> Eve, hurry. I think Sadie's in trouble. What was it? Postmortem, postmortem. Postmortem, cardiopulmonary resuscitation be a spiritual influence. David, I'm coming. There she is. Eve, is it true? Is Did you really bring David back? No. I um. Can you can you can you please bring me back too? Hold on, she's gonna send me back no, first. No, no, my husband needs me. Please. Oh, David, just give me a second chance. We tried to keep it a secret. No, we didn't.
afraid I was about to do something terrible. Whatever happened, you're okay. Come on, let's get you away from this dreadful place. Where are you? I need you. My temperature's dropping, my pulse slowing down. My elbows are creaking, my eyes are glazing over, and I'm trying to please both the girls in my mind. But everything's breaking, I just need more time Oh, if it I hurt you, I know this is hard Don't mean to desert you, but I just don't belong within your world of shadows I'm meant for the light, when Sadie is calling How can I throw my dream away and shackle my heart? I know it's manly, but I'm sure you dealt with words. I thought love was unconditional. What's a little bit compared to all eternity? I know it's a bit untraditional, but you and I can work it out and keep the fire burning. A weary traveler, I never have seen. My friend, won't you tell me, how can I lift your spirit? I'm Professor A. Crystal, the master of thought. The cure to your ailments can surely be taught. My problems are bigger than tricks of the mind. Your physical symptoms are merely our extensions of the phallus you spit in. In circles within, give me your mind and I'll fix you from the inside till there's nothing to fear. Doctor is near. You could never understand the pain I'm going through. You're trapped between worlds, caught me between girls. I can give you everything you want and more. You love just to live in the yesterday. Well, I can show you how to live like there is no tomorrow. Just sign to enroll as a patient in my therapeutic practice to relinquish all your sorrows. It's not than just sorrow. My friend, I am first in the spiritual arts. Yes, I have the power to keep you alive. Choose me as your doctor or you'll never survive. How did you do that? There's more going on than you comprehend. What you need is a mentor. What is your price? No sacrifice. Helping wandering souls is its own reward. What you Outside, on guard your mind. Your permission will allow me to control you. I move through to the soul and the easy part. Fixing up your body till you're running good as new. There must be another way. I can't give away the one thing I'm still holding on to. What? I know who you are, David. I'm the one man in this world who can help you. I beg you, let me heal you. You can stay in control, just let me stand by. Necromancy is a messy business, and if something should go wrong, then you'll take control. Only as a doctor helps his patient. <laughs> Would you rather be abandoned? How do I know I can trust you? Oh, well, you can't trust me. So, by all means, stagger off to your girl like a three-legged dog and sweep her up into your leprous arms. You'll heal me now, and if nothing goes wrong... Then you have my blessing, and I'll never bother you again. Hold a trial period. Just stay alive until, shall we say, sunrise. And if I can't stay alive? Then as one who cannot help himself, you bequeath your will to me, and I will see to your needs. I'm only trying to help. Sadie, I tried to come sooner, but I... Do you hear someone? No. Forget it. Mm -hmm. Supposing I want to give up my body of my own free will. Why would you want to do that? Will I be able to do it? If you give up your body before sunrise, you're free to go, I swear it. 
David, no! Done and done. Now, hold still. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Just one part left. Roll up your sleeve. This will hurt a lot. Ah! What's that for? It's the source of your power. Trust me, you'll need it. Now go win your girl back. Godspeed, my friend. David, what have you done?
It's a long story and I'll explain everything in time, I promise. But for now, can you just accept that I'm back? <laughs> yes, it's a Halloween miracle and it's really me. But may I have a moment alone with my fiance? Hold on, if you're really David Pickett, why don't you show us some of that famous fiddle playing of yours? I really don't have time. For What's the matter? Lost your touch? You don't need to prove anything. Come on. Does anybody have a fiddle? <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Well done, my friend. Well, Isaac, it appears you've been cheated. And these are rather unusual circumstances. What are you going to do now? What can I do? They were engaged. Are you just going to accept this unexplained phenomenon? Are you sure that's rational? Nothing's rational. He was dead. <laughs> are you suggesting we're witnessing something unnatural? Until we receive more information, we'll have to withhold judgment. That's Dr. Isaac speaking. But supposing this were outside the bounds of science, and David's return was indeed supernatural, or perhaps even unholy, how would Isaac the man feel? I suppose I wouldn't trust him with Satan. I fear my premonition was correct, and there is something even afoot. Will you stand by me as you pledged? This is too much. I need some time. Oh, Jesse, he's not your type either! So how are the finances? That's a rather odd question for a first time acquaintance. Well, enough, I guess. You don't only want him again when you get home again. I'd give no doubt to that. All the smart plus sweets, the better off they are. Well, how do you know? Just no doubt. Is that alcohol that's going on your blood? It's a girl. Now, wait a minute. You sound just like my late wife. Have we met? Hello, girl. You, no, 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 don't. No, wait, hey, no. I'm ready to go back. Good evening, madam. I'm well versed in the spiritual arts. May I have this dance? I'm a spirit, you're a mortal. Are you sure about that? How is this possible? 
correct me if I'm wrong, but you look like a lost soul. You say that. We met in the graveyard. You helped David, didn't you? I... You confided in me. I'm one of the few people who can appreciate what you've accomplished. So I must say, David turned out quite a bit better than your other patients. Why is that? I think you know. You did something to him. Who are you? Oh, you're the miracle worker. I only know of one other story who pulled off the piece. They call him Old Daniel. That story is mostly rubbish. Meaning there's some truth in it. A spirit, mind your own business. Have you never dreamed of coming back yourself? It's too late. You still have a lot to learn. What do you want with faith? I could ask you the same. Aren't you supposed to be waiting for your Andrew? How do you know about that? Eve, don't you recognize me? Andrew? It's been a long time. You're, you're not lost? Not in the slightest. Why didn't you come for me? How could I? We live in separate worlds now. And how are you still alive? Because of you. You helped me conquer death for good. But it's been so lonely without you. Won't you join me? How? Believe me, when you brought me back, there was nothing I wanted more than to bring you with me. Between the two of us, we lack the energy. Meanwhile, you've given me a second chance at life. And I had unfinished business. What business? Revenge. So the legend is true. Would you have the coward who killed me go unpunished? And when I failed to find him, what could I do but require blood from his next of kin? You've changed. Do not judge what you don't understand. Only through death is there life. You and I saw that firsthand. And if you wish to join me in immortality, there is a price that must be paid. What are you suggesting? You and I both know that David's return won't last. It would be an act of charity to send Sadie to the next world with him. You want me to kill her? Oh, it's not as easy as that. As decreed by laws much older than you or I, she must give up her soul of her own free will. I tried to help her, but she won't listen to me. How will this bring me love? Help her soul move on, and you will be rewarded handsomely. And you will be 
finally found each other, Eve. Won't you continue our work with me? Sadie, I've been meaning to tell you. I saw you at the graveyard with that man. Isaac? No, it was another man. I thought he was you. Well, whoever he was, I won't let him hurt you. Can we just move on from the past? What are we to do now? Well, now we pick up where we left off. What if it's more complicated than it was before? Because of Isaac? How could I have known? Do you love him? I don't know. I need some time. How much time? I don't know. A few days? I don't have a few days. What do you mean? It'll be hard for you to understand, but I need to know by sunrise. Sunrise? Are you going to hawk here at the project all night? So the rest of us would like to dance in front of the sun? <laughs> Where's my apple pie? You're back. Are you ready to keep your promise? What would you have me do? If David Return truly is the devil, he'll bear the mark of old Daniel. <coughs> old Daniel? One who's neither alive nor dead. One who's given himself the powers of darkness. The devil brands his servants as men brand cattle. There's always a mark. What kind of mark? Why do you have it? The fool of the evil spirits. It rubs right off. But this isn't about me. This is about him. And if I see it, I recommend this. It's no sin when we live against evil. But I'm a dog. It's a duty. I don't know why. Hey, Isaac, do it for the children. Think of Daisy. Are you a man or not? Defend your lady. And God be with you. The consumption has returned, and worse than before. What this young lady has is no mere disease, but a case of possession. <gasps> uh, she's my patient, perhaps I should. You focus on your task at hand.
No, you don't. I'm next in line. I'm afraid I have business to attend to. Excuse me. <clears throat> What's going on? Why can't I... Eve, is that you? Who else would look after you? Shake the branch for yes. <laughs> if you'd kindly let me pass, I'm trying to leave this place. I know you don't. We went to all this trouble so you could get your girl back. Now go get her. What? You think I'm giving up? She's giving up on me. She has to think about it. This isn't what I expected. Just go and win her over like you did me. Eve, I don't want to be here anymore. I was happier dead. Don't say that. And it's driving me crazy not to be able to see you. Really? There's a major flaw in our plan. What's that? Just how much I miss you. Oh, David. You have to forget about me and face your love. Damn, the Andrew's coming. I can't face him. I've heard the legend <coughs> of a man whose shadow carries fright. Filled with powers of the night while shirking from the light. Could it be I've made a monster neither alive nor dead? So eager to reclaim my life, I'd give my soul instead. Lifting me her hands in mine, she gave her strength reversing time. Midnight magic in our hearts, is this where we have to part? It ended so suddenly, a life just begun. I am a demon seeking now for a spree. I see a monster gazing back through the shadows. And bless my soul, he looks a lot like me. My temperature's dropping, my pulse slowing down. My elbows are creaking, my eyes are glazing over, and I'm trying to please both the girls in my mind. But everything's breaking, I just need more time. Burden with failure, he tried to free his soul. What welded with anger, he couldn't let it go. I see through the darkness illusions and lies. To keep on this pathway will bring my demise. There's one way to freedom, to grab all my fate. I must let go. Oh, I fear I'm too late. I've made up my mind. Yes, I still want to marry you. You do? You do. It's time to move on. You're telling me. Sadie, tonight has been incredible. So many thoughts and feelings, it's overwhelming. In one sense, it's frightening. In another sense, I wish it could last forever. I will always love you, because in this world, you were my life. Were? This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. This isn't what I wanted or what I expected, but I've come to learn the truth, and that is that I have to let you go. What? You're leaving me? Again? I know this will be hard for you to understand, but I can't stay in this world any longer. Why are you doing this? I won't let you go! Sadie, do you love me? How oh, could you ask? Then please, let me go. Excuse me. Oh, Isaac, I'm so sorry. I... You don't need to apologize. I simply came to congratulate David on his return. Thank you, my friend. My understanding was that you had died of cholera. Now is not a good time. Cholera can damage the skin, but from what I see, your skin looks fine. Just so people will believe me, would you mind rolling up a sleeve? Fascinating. Mm -hmm. And the other arm? I'm afraid I must be going. It's best if you don't follow. You just got here! Sadie, life is incredible and exciting. 
more than I ever realized before. I want you two to enjoy every moment together. David! All right. You can follow me as far as the graveyard, but then we must part. Wherever you're going, I'm coming to. I would like to go as well. No, you must stay. Please, Isaac. <gasps> no, you leave us. Oh my what God. are you doing? Leave him alone! Come on, Jesse, give him a good one right in the jaw! No, no, no. no. Those are your costumes? Those are unholy beings! Oh. Oh. <laughs> This man must be taken care of immediately. Fred, help me lift him. Where are you taking him? Somewhere safe. He needs to get to the hospital. You seize her. <laughs> you let her go. You're not the man I once loved. I won't let you hurt them. Eve, we could have been great together. But you're way over your head. <sighs> let her go. Wow, Dave, Dave's our friend. Come on. Well, I got nothing better to do. I got two of us. I can't wait to see how this turns out. I'm coming, David. She ever waits for the little old lady. <laughs> you served your purpose. Now leave. Why aren't you dead yet? Die already! Eve must have slowed the bleeding. I'd kill you myself. That would be a breach of our contract, wouldn't it? Why? Why? What do you think you signed away? Your soul, of course. The only thing you have of any value. You had your evening of fun. Now it's time to pay. But you said... I said my services were free. That doesn't mean immortality is free. Poor stupid soul. I, like you, once thought I was indestructible. Then the demons caught up with me. Ever since then, I've had to barter for my own soul. This is why I'm taking yours. My master requires payment every Halloween. Master? The ruler of this world, prince of darkness, the source of my power. You and Eve just don't get it. You'll never achieve immortality on your own. That can only be done by uniting yourself with a higher power. Oh, don't look at me like that. I don't enjoy this any more than you do. All right, that's a lie. Soul conning business certainly has its moments. Any halfwit can take a lie. But to take the soul with it? That is an art. But why my soul? Well, I tried relentlessly to claim your girlfriend Sadie. So happens she's a descendant of the man who killed me so long ago, against whom I've declared an eternal vengeance. But you're the only one I could catch. Don't take it personally. As a fellow fiddler and one cheater of death to another, I actually like you. Which I can't say about all my victims. I'll leave of my own free will. Yeah, I lied about the escape clause. What? Once you die, you're mine. So get on with it already. I don't deliver tonight. Things will get ugly. Fast, a tragedy indeed. It wasn't meant to last, and now we must proceed. You're grasping on to life, but there's no hope for you. The bullet in is deep, there's nothing left to do. So let your spirit go, escape your suffering. Why bother fighting and denying obvious reality? You planned for my demise, you knew that all along. Why wait another hour? There's no good reason to prolong! Leave him alone! It's your doctor who did the damage! We're taking him to the hospital, you monster! Such harsh words for a lover! Don't you recognize your beloved man on the hill? It was you! Beyond me, I thought a novice like David could be responsible for my finest violin performances. Though I can't blame you for being infatuated, I'm the one you really wanted. <laughs> this is what our relationship has come to. Well, if I can't have your soul, at least I can continue my revenge. Leave her alone! Leave my friend, 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 not around me, Mr. Great alone. I can kill you all if you like. Are you sure you're ready to take on one who's neither alive nor dead? 
one who's given himself the powers of darkness. Yo, Van. Oh, I've been known by many names. But those who learn them never live to tell the tale. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Go help David. Yes. I'm sure he would prefer to die in your embrace. these fools, Eve. Join me. We can live forever. You're already dead. Before you leave me down, I have an offering. Take my soul instead. I'll get off everything. You make a tempting deal. You are a worthy trade. If you give him his life, that's all he'll rather be your slave. Nothing less, nothing more. Give to me your hand. He will say, I will go on. Down, we go, down, we go. This way where my master waits. Go get your life submission and I'll get a great commission. David, don't leave me. I'm here. Please forgive your friend. He was deceived. That's what I, now I'm at my head. Follow down this path. I'm passing over here. There's no returning back. You good for nothing, my way to keep the deal. And I refuse to go with you. Your promise cannot be revealed. That will but will have to fight. If you insist, uh, I let him live one minute more. My contract still persists. Down he go, down he go. This way where my master waits. Go get your flight submission and I'll get a great commission. Hey, I'm sorry. You're life. Take me too. What? I thought I could be happy if I could make everything as it were. But it wasn't my life anymore. My life is here. With you. How touching. But if you'll excuse us, I have a deadline! Have you got your baby? Yes, take her away. And tell Master she's a gifted one. Worth ten regular souls. Oh, please. All I want is to be with Eve. You would throw away your soul. David, don't do this. As long as we're together, I don't care what they do to us. Because an afterlife without you would be hell, even in heaven. But to be with you is heaven. Even in hell? Fine, shut up. Take them both. <sighs> and make sure to separate them. I'll wait here for my commission. <sighs> here is where you pass, Pa. You'll never see each other again. David, just knowing you're here with me makes it more bearable. <laughs> you don't know what it's like to be slaves for all It is agony, misery, and endless woe. I would never let you face this alone. We'll find each other again, no matter how long it takes.
Two other souls, just give me a minute, you can have them all. souls like these. Guess we'll figure that part out later. Out of the way, you idiot! about even David. Didn't you see? They escaped. What? Now they're talking about moving on. It's all so inspiring. I'm gonna move on. You're no longer afraid of the existential void. Whether I am or not, I'm going. Why don't you join me? And leave decades of agony, frustration, and regret? That's the idea. But I've worked so hard on my moans. And I've almost perfected my despair. Well, it's been fun. Wait, wait, wait. Now that old Daniel's gone, maybe the devil's looking for new agents. That could be fun. And not half as scary. We'll compromise our souls. We can be double agents. <gasps> Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Sadie, did David say all he needed to? I don't know. It, it all happened so fast. I wish I could have just said goodbye. Sadie. Sadie. Uh, who would you look at? Love him with all of your heart. Nothing will bring you greater joy. <laughs> oh, David, I will. I don't know what just happened, but I'll take it. <laughs> If you give any hope, my life force and my breath. Oh, it's hard to go. I no longer fear death. Though we sometimes. 
We are meant for sorrow and pain. Look at what we've achieved. There's no need for us to remain. There's a new life waiting for me, waiting for you. A curse is falling, a destiny calling, a glory. Thank mm -hmm. you.